Hello there guys, welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today we're based in Adobe Illustrator and it's your good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again to show you some cool stuff. What I'd like to do today guys is show you how to create this paper turn effect within Adobe Illustrator. A really sort of 3D looking effect um, that you can apply to any forms of uh, typography and a very simple process for you to follow to do so. Question should be is how do we do it? And that's why I'm here to show you. Okay, so using my selection tool, uh, I'm just gonna select everything like so and just delete that just so we can start fresh. And I'm gonna press the shortcut Command zero on a Mac or Control zero on Windows just to go back to normal view mode. Okay, so gotta obviously create my text. I'm gonna get my type tool here and we're gonna come through. Let's make sure that our typography is white so we can see what we're doing here. And we're gonna use a nice thick font of impact and I'm going to write the word book. Okay, so I'm just going to resize this by pressing shift uh, to keep it nice and proportionate and option on a Mac or auto on Windows to resize from the center point. Okay. So what I need to do now to this typography is uh, create outlines. So with it selected, I'm going to right click and create outlines. And then what I'm going to do is come to my free transform tool and I need to use this option here just to distort this like so. Wonderful. And then what I'm going to do now is duplicate this down here. And we need to distort this again. So I'm just going to come through here like so. Take this down here. And we just need to manipulate to a point where it's like this. Okay. So what I'm going to do with these two uh, books is set the both of them like so, and let's use our blend tool and we're going to click and click. There's not enough steps in there. So I want to have two steps. So I'm going to double click on the blend tool, change this to specify steps and change that number to the number two. Okay, wonderful. And now what I'm going to do is go to object expand. Okay, and I need to ungroup this. So we're going to go right click and ungroup. I'm just going to select everything like so and now apply a gradient to this. And I want to make sure that my gradient angle is at uh, minus 90. And there we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is move this up a little bit here. I'm just going to re, uh, going to right click on it, sorry. And if you press transform, I'm going to do a reflection. I would like to do a horizontal, a horizontal reflection, but I'm not going to press OK. I'm going to press copy. Just bring that down to a point now, like so. Wonderful. Let's resize everything up using our selection tool here. Lovely. And then let's get this all nice and grouped up using the shortcut Command G on Mac or Control G on Windows. And I'm just going to get this aligned perfectly onto the artboard like so. And there you have it, guys. That's how you create that paper to paper turn effect. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, please take a look at our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Also, as well, guys, there are video recordings that are coming out on a weekly basis. So please take more, please make sure you take a look. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.